everyone. Sorry I have been MIA. We all know how that goes. It gets busy around the holidays and I was doing Vlogmas. I was doing so good with it and keeping up and then what happened? Oh, um, I ended up leaving Illinois and coming back home and it just got freaking crazy. I ended up going back to work. Um, my husband had like he didn't have time off but like it was nice that he was coming home early and on days and then um, Christmas <laughs> I honestly I just totally I didn't forget but like I did record things and then it just never got edited or put up so I failed at doing vlogmas and I was so close so close to doing it so that really sucks but maybe next year <laughs> for people that vlog every day and edit every day props to you. I do not know how you do that. I just wanted to get on here and do like where the heck have I been video since it's kind of been like a month or so but um I'm currently getting ready for our frozen transfer. I have no idea when it's going to be. I hate not knowing it. I'm so impatient. It's really bad. I don't know if I mentioned in any videos at all but um, I did get my cycle naturally after the retrieval, which is normal because I was on all those medications. My body is like, if I'm on you know, hormonal stimulating medication, I'll get my cycle you know, the next month. But if I'm not on anything, it's non-existent. So I did get it um, end of November, but the embryologist was going out of town. So they put it on hold and I told them that I'm not going to get my period naturally so I was like when should I call because I will be calling <laughs> every so often to find out when I can start doing Provera and I don't know if some people have done Provera or not I've done it multiple multiple times um, to start my cycle so they told me to call the day after Christmas if I didn't get anything and I didn't get anything so I called and um, I had to go in for a clearing ultrasound and blood work. Everything was fine. They just pretty much looked to make sure that you're not pregnant and your lining is okay and whatnot. So I picked up the Provera that day and it's 10 days worth of just like a little pill. And do, when was my last one? My last one was on Friday, Thursday or Friday. Um, and day two without so Friday. and I have no signs <laughs> I'm really bummed I'm having this like fear that it's not gonna work this time and I'm not gonna get my period because I was kind of like really slightly spotting like a couple days after starting and then I've been feeling a couple days ago like cramps and stuff but nothing Far and I'm just I'm trying not to worry or freak out because that's my biggest problem <laughs> so that's pretty much all I'm waiting for um, a lot's been kind of happening um, just like life in general I guess you could say I kind of gone back to work um, they know probably in February I'm gonna take the month off for the transfer and um, <clears throat> my husband's platoon for his boot camp that he does his drone trucker thing they graduate in February and just a lot going on um, in that month so I'll be needing some time off right before I decided to start this video I'm like oh let me check the mail and I didn't check yesterday yesterday is Saturday usually we don't get that much this this all of this all of this medical bills isn't it great people that obviously know that if you don't have full coverage this is what it looks like for IVF. <laughs> I, I pay like a copay for ultrasounds and stuff like that. And it's literally, it's not that much, but it's like $2. Anywhere from two to 14. I don't know why it's like that, but that's like the difference. And they will send it, like this is how late it is because I just did one I do one. I did my clearing ultrasound in December. Yeah. And so obviously they're not going to send me all these. So this is literally from anywhere from like September to November. And that's how like slow they are. So I've tried calling and being like, can you just send me a 
full bill, like one bill with everything on it and the total because it's annoying because you have to open, open one, put in, go on the website, put in some code and zip code and, and the code is literally like 15 digits with numbers and letters and stuff. And then you have to put the total in that the bill says. And sometimes I feel like, what if I entered it in wrong? Well, I don't know why it doesn't show it up there. It's just one of those things that's just annoying. <laughs> so I have to do that with all of these. I actually just really need to call them again and ask for a full like invoice of it. So we shall see. But that's another annoying thing about IVF that I don't like. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, as soon as I guess I start my birth control, I'll make a video or something. I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking of doing like weekend vlogs, but then I'm like, you know what? My week is, uh, my weekends are kind of boring. <laughs> rambling. I'm gonna, I could keep rambling for like an hour with nonsense. So I will end the video and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know when that's going to be, but I hope you guys have a great day or night and I'll see you next time. Bye. I got, well, how does, how, how, how does this work? Lay down, bud. I'm recording. No, ow, get down, lay down, I'm recording. And Maximus. Oh, you stop. What are you doing? What are you doing over there in your little diaper? It's like a cloth diaper. See, being eco-friendly with my dogs. And be in the video. You always do. Go lay down. This is, this is what I deal with when I try to record.